Let me paint the picture for you guys of how I went from being a little kid in Sudan with no idea of what was to come to now being at an international uh, conference with cardiothoracic surgeons, a career that I may be aspiring to do in the future. J5 is a mad one. I'm like, man down, baby, wanna take my life. She don't wanna be no side. Only people could smell me right now. My goodness. She don't wanna be no side. She just wanna be my wife. Calling up that last like season, baby. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun editing this. Psych. Lads like man down, baby wanna take my life. She don't wanna be no side. She just wanna be my. It was all good on So my journey to medicine wasn't your kind of traditional journey. So if we want to take it all the way back, it uh, started in a little continent called Africa, uh, in Wakanda to beat now, uh, in, Sud in Sudan, uh, where I'm originally from. So I was born. I was born and raised in Sudan, and uh, I actually only moved to England when I was eight. Smile on my smile on my face. Uh, no English whatsoever. The only thing I knew how to say, I knew how to say one phrase, and that was, "Do you want to play?" Uh, so I was running around the playground in first school asking kids, "Do you want to play?" And to my surprise, they didn't. They didn't want to play. But um, I don't know why to this day. So yeah, that's what it all started for me. And uh, I came here. And my parents. I have to give a big shout out to them. They were a huge influence. Um, you know, my dad when we came here, he didn't want us to kind of fall behind or. Um, any of that he he knew we kind of he, he knew he knew things were stacked against us so he put a huge emphasis on us um, learning English um, trying to get us to the same level as everyone else so I'm very grateful for him I'm very grateful for my siblings because they um, they always helped me out my older siblings so I would say that's where my journey to medicine started what would I have done hmm uh, I think I'd be in the NBA to be honest. Uh, draft 2020. <laughs> nah, um, what, what would I have done if I hadn't studied medicine? To be honest, uh, art is something I um, I really enjoy. Um, you know, when I when I have when I have time off, when I'm not playing sports, and I'm, when I'm not uh, studying, I've just got you know time to myself. Um, I love to draw. I did art in GCSE and did well in it. Um, you know, I have I have sketchbooks at home uh, that are locked deep in a cupboard where no one can find them uh, so that's something i really enjoy and i'd like to think i would have pursued that but realistically uh, i think i you know i would have gone into something related uh, to medicine so so you know physiotherapy or um or a, deg a degree of that of that sort because like i said before uh, i enjoy the practical side of things as well as as well as the knowledge base and i don't think i'm the type of person that would you know, in, enjoy uh, um, sitting behind a desk uh, uh, for my, as my job. I, I really like to get out there, be active, and I think I would strive to find something in a career if I didn't get into medicine that incorporated, incorporated those things. So for me, the definitive moment when I wanted to study medicine, when I knew I wanted to study medicine was very clear. I was 12 at the time and my youngest brother was just born. There were some complications um, during the pregnancy and he ended up being born with a condition called spina bifida, um, which is a, a long-term condition that he lives with obviously to this day. But I remember, I remember when he was born saying to my dad like, Look, I, I, when I grow up, I want to be able to understand my younger brother's condition because um, I knew he, he would be living with it and we would be living with it as a family. She's calling me like, how's the mumsy? Can we fly away to Zanti? Baby, who's that garden? What do I want to specialise in? So neurology is something I'm particularly interested in because of how it's so heavy on, you know, your diagnostic skills so your history taken and your clinical skills and your clinical acumen and it's not so much to do with tests and investigations it's um it's it's more to do with you know uh, talking to the patient eliciting eliciting um you know signs uh, through your clinical skills uh that's something that interests me in particular you know it's very very detective like work uh, in my in my opinion so but it, it also it's very difficult, but so is a, uh, any specialty in medicine, to be honest. 
So fast forward to my to my GCSEs, I kind of you know got my head down. Medicine is obviously academically it's a it's a challenging uh, degree, and, and you need to excel uh, in those things. So you know GCSE, um, I focused a lot on my on my sciences, maths, English, uh, and you know uh, thankfully I did I did uh, all right in my GCSEs. Do you want me to say what I got? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't, I don't really feel comfortable saying what I got. I got a nine nine A's and three B's on my GCSE, so that was that was alright, and that was enough for me to then um, uh, carry on to the topics that I wanted to do for A level. And what I ended up doing in A level was biology, chemistry, maths, and English language. Why English language? Uh, just because you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And then I dropped English language in my A2, uh, and you know, thankfully I did I did uh, really well in my AS. I ended up getting four A's in all those all those subjects. And you know, I, I worked really hard during during my A levels, and and then I dropped English language A2, managed to get um, um, two A's and a, two A's and a B. So I got a, I got A in biology, A in chemistry, and a B in maths. Honestly, I have, to, I have to thank a lot of the widening participation um, schemes that were going on at the time when I was when I was actually applying to medicine. Um, you know, from the background that I, that I came from, very similar to Raihan's. Um, if it wasn't for these schemes, kind of getting us involved from early because these opportunities weren't afforded to us like like other students. Uh, you know, just because of our kind of socio-economic background, you know, where we were coming from, the schools we were at. But you know, we had a we had a lot of support from you know from teachers who who really believed in us. Uh, and what's important is obviously we believed in ourselves as well. And um, so I ended up applying to Newcastle, Durham, Southampton, and Holyoke Medical School. And a and my fifth choice was Bradford Bradford Clinical Sciences. I got an interview for all of them and I got through for um, Newcastle, I got through to Durham uh, with, an, uh, with an offer, I got through Newcastle with an offer, Durham with an offer and Southampton but it, unfortunately Holyoke Medical School um, didn't give me an offer uh, after the interview, you know. <laughs> No, um, yeah, so after the interview, I, I didn't get an offer uh, for them. So I ended up choosing to study at Durham. There was a lot of factors that came into my decision. And, you know, just like the people watching this video who may ha may or may not have offers, um, you know, it's, that's when you kind of have to look at yourself and, and think, you know, what, what would be best for me, what's best suited for me. Um, for me, I took a lot of personal things into consideration. Uh, you know, my, my family, I wanted to keep my family quite close, uh, you know, just as an example. And I ended up choosing Durham. Um, so, so I'm doing very far. So I ended up choosing Durham. And the uh, thing is, with Durham at the time, um, it's no longer one of the courses available for medicine. And uh, the, Durham had a foundation year, so that's what I ended up doing. I ended up doing a foundation with Durham, uh, just like Raihan did. And, um, and I, I specifically chose that because I knew uh, how stressful medicine would be going into it uh, and I kind of wanted to take that extra year uh, just to kind of find my feet. Um, and so what is my favourite uh, aspect of studying medicine? Well two things here, so number one is like I said before uh, I'm quite a hands-on guy, quite practical and you know, medicine incorporates that within the degree, the clinical skills, the examinations involved. That is one thing. And the second thing is the knowledge base required. So I also like to think of myself as, as, a, as a studious, studious person. And so I actually enjoy the, um, the knowledge base of it all. Uh, you know, learning different things, learning the different disease processes. But not only that, you know, the different, the different treatment Paths, the path of physiology, all, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I enjoy the, the, the challenge of having both the practical aspect and the knowledge base as well. Just put them two together. It's ideal for me. In
My least favorite aspect of medicine, uh, long hours. <laughs> um, so, what is my least favorite aspect of medicine? Yeah, uh, you know, I jokingly say the long hours, but uh, it it is something that I'm aware of, and it's it's something that I'm aware of will not get better with time. So. As I progress through the degree, it's not as if the hours are going to get shorter. As I progress through my career, same thing. It's not as if the hours are going to get shorter. It's going to get, it's going to get longer, uh, more tiring, more exhaustive. But that's again, that's when you have to bring it back, and you have to have uh, that kind of drive, you know, um, for your profession, for your degree, uh, to to be able to undertake those those long hours. So yeah, that kind of that kind of pretty much covers my journey to medicine. Um, any questions? Uh, right hands put like a link there somewhere. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, any questions? Just say in the comments. Uh, I don't know how YouTube works. Thanks, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any, if you have any questions at all, then put them in the comments below. Um, we love to hear from you guys. We love. Um, interacting with you with these on you know whether it be social media or these videos so any questions you have we will strive to answer We're all about helping you guys out trying to get people from similar backgrounds like myself and Raihan getting into the to the roles that they that they want to achieve in life even if they do have doubters even if they doubt themselves uh, that's what we aim to achieve so any questions anything at all will be as open and honest as we can be and as uh, legally allowed. Give us a little tour of the house, please, so, of the right apartment. Now, we're in the kitchen. Um, this is an open plan, uh, flat, very beautiful flat. You can see the decor. Yeah, I went for mahogany, mahogany with a nice pristine touch. Oh um, yeah, wooden flooring. Right now, um, if, we, if we step this way, uh, yeah, and um, you can see the beautiful riverside view. This is the river. Glasgow, <laughs> the river Glasgow, um, yeah, um, it's also a balcony that you can step out into, but right now it's minus 300 degrees, so we're not opting for that option. But um, yeah, come this way, come this way. So like I said, it's an open plan, so kitchen is living room, living room is kitchen, where does, where does the kitchen start, where does the living room end? That's the question that I've been asking myself. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the, uh, this is the main living space really. And so you know, kick back, relax, kick back, relax, have a good time. You know, watch some TV. And got some beautiful, beautiful decor here. DFS sale ends soon. 
Um, lovely TV here and uh, the country. Country. Um, we've got another balcony here. Um, and just the most stunning view of the river. Absolutely. Right Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Listen, they don't have YouTube in Wakanda. Uh, now they do. We've got vibranium, my guy. So, uh, yeah, so any questions in the comments, but, you know, um, what are um, my plans for the future? Uh, I think... Future video. My plans for the future, coming in the future video. <laughs> Take my life She don't wanna be no side She just wanna be my wife